We're here with Dr. Jonathan Dunker talking about shoulder pain and rotator cuff surgery. Dr. Dunker, when someone has shoulder pain, how would they know if it's a torn rotator cuff? So usually a rotator cuff tear presents with pain on the side of the shoulder. So, um, some of the other symptoms you might notice is difficulty lifting your arm up above shoulder level or some weakness. And a lot of times with rotator cuff injuries, people actually have pain at night that awakens them from sleep or prevents them from falling asleep. And what role does the rotator cuff play within our body's movements? The rotator cuff is the main movement or the main mover of the shoulder. So it's actually composed of four muscles and tendons that help move the shoulder throughout the various ranges of motion that you would do in a standard day. What might patients expect when they come in um, for their first appointment for a potential torn rotator cuff? So a lot of times what we'll start with is x-rays and that just allows us to look at the bone structure of the shoulder to make sure that there isn't something more severe going on such as a, a broken bone or something of that nature. And then once we get a chance to look at those x-rays, we'll then take the patient's shoulder through various different ranges of motion and exams to evaluate for different types of strength deficits if they're present or range of motion deficits, which will give us better insight as to the cause of their pain. What is Purveya's philosophy when it comes to treating someone with shoulder pain and a torn rotator cuff? So we always like to try to treat patients initially as conservatively as possible. Um, for most shoulder injuries, rotator cuff tears as well, we can usually make patients' symptoms resolve with some simple anti-inflammatory medications, injections, or physical therapy. For your more severe injuries, usually we will have to become a little bit more aggressive with treatment, and that's where surgery may be involved. Yeah, and so what kind of, what does surgery, what might that look like? So surgery typically is going to involve uh, an arthroscopic process, and that basically means using um, small incisions around the shoulder, and it can vary from three to sometimes five incisions where we're able to place a camera inside the shoulder and visualize the structures. And this gives us the ability to first see the anatomy and see the injury. And then with that knowledge, we can then approach the injury and correct it by repairing that tear. And then what would the recovery process look like for someone who has that type of procedure done? Well, unfortunately with a rotator cuff tear, it is a fairly long recovery process. You, typically for the first six to eight weeks, the patient's in a sling. Um, they're usually limited on how much motion of their shoulder they can do for the first 12 weeks or three months. And the whole recovery process in total typically takes about six months. For a complete list of Prevea orthopedic providers in Wisconsin and for more resources, visit prevea.com ortho.